Hello there, my name is Brian. And I'm Brian. And this is Brian vs. Brian, episode 69. Uh, we're ringing in the Christmas time, baby. We're finally over with our Thanksgiving feast. Our bellies have just now settled down and deflated to normal size. And we're going to pop a little Christmas movie in. Uh, we didn't really plan on doing a Christmas movie, but we had a couple ideas of new things that were out. And one of them was long as hell. Uh, one of them was mediocre as crap. <laughs> and uh, one of them we had no idea about. So I saw a, uh, like a synopsis for 8-Bit Christmas is what we're doing. Episode 69, 8-Bit Christmas. Uh, HBO Max original. I saw a synopsis and I was like, well, that's an interesting story. You know, kid set in the 80s trying to get the, the Nintendo, like the hardest thing to get during Christmas at that time. So that sounded interesting. It, it reminded me of like a um, Jingle All the Way, kind of, yeah. but set in the 80s. And I was like, well, that could be interesting. You know, do a Christmas story type movie where it's uh, old school, feels 80s, and feels nostalgic. I was like, that sounds interesting to me. I didn't watch the trailer or anything. I knew Neil, Tra- Neil Patrick Harris was in it, which kind of turned me off. I, I haven't really liked him in really anything before. Um, but we gave it a shot. Came out November 24th. Yeah, HBO Max original. Only on. Uh, so that was kind of strange. They don't get many of those. Yeah. HBO Max. Yeah, most of them they go to the theater too. Um, directed by Michael Douse. I don't know who that is. Written by Kevin uh, Jab- Jakubowski. Jakubowski. And it's, based, <clears throat> and it's based on his book. So... He got to write the screenplay, and he also originally wrote the book. So that's good. I bet the book goes into some stuff. Nice thick book. Yeah, I get some more detail. Uh, just uh, uh, just to throw it out there, because I think you've seen it. I think you're a fan, if I'm not mistaken. But this is the same director, Dagoon, with uh, the guy from American Pie. It's like the hockey movie. He just beats people up. It's like an R-rated. Oh hockey no, movie. no. I, I haven't seen that, but I know people that really like. It. I've seen parts of it. It's yeah, then, <laughs> Stifler. <laughs> yeah, doesn't Stifler. it have a doesn't it have a couple sequels? It's got like a cult following. That yeah, movie. I think so. I think but they yeah. even went. They kept going without Stifler. <laughs> it's like just <laughs> Goon yeah. Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, but um, um doesn't wouldn't surprise me. But uh, yeah, I just want to throw it out there the same director. Uh, I thought the movie. Uh, was fun. I like in the product the the material. It's like from the studio that brought you Elf. Um, I fucking hate that when they do that. Not to my knowledge. Like what? It's New Line it, Cinema. Oh, okay. New Line. Yeah. Because, because I, got, I see Warner Brothers New Line and Star Thrower Entertainment. I was like, I don't remember any of those for Elf. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess New Line. But uh, yeah. Blah. I wasn't expecting anything because I had no idea. I just thought it was an interesting uh, Christmas movie plot device. And uh, uh I don't know. I, I wasn't disappointed. I thought it was a pretty interesting story. I, I felt very nostalgic. It felt very Christmas story at parts. Uh, when he finally starts, you know, they show up at Grandma and Grandpa's house and there's a Nintendo and he's got to explain the tale of how he got it and how he wanted one so bad he couldn't get one because his daughter wants a phone so bad and he's not going to buy her one. And uh, yeah, and the first flashback. And he's introducing all his friends as a child. I thought that scene was great. Like yeah. this, a lot of this movie, I had a big smile. I was like, "Oh, dude, okay, I'm liking this." He's like, "He was a pathological liar, he's like a little <laughs> qu- qu- quintessential fat kid." He's like, "No, I have a Nintendo. Oh, my uncle works for Nintendo." <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, "You don't have a Nintendo at your home." There's no Nintendo at my home. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's on the phone with David Hasselhoff or whatever he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. You said you had to go because Tom Cruise called. Oh you. yeah. yeah uh, right. Both things happen. They're not mutually <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> uh. And then he's got the uh, the twins. It's like a uh, guy and a girl. I don't remember what their gimmick was, but they're kind of like the. I don't remember what their gimmick was, but there was something. And then he's got the uh, what's the other friend? The, the Dang guy the, the, reminded me of me. That's this one touched my heart with the his best friend that his parents let him watch all the rated R movies. So he has oh yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> R rated movies that no one gets. Do you think <laughs> I like that? Uh, do you think uh, 
you think Die Hard is a Christmas movie? <laughs> uh, my parents won't let me see it, but my my friend has seen it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, it was great. The Spaghettio then, Kid. Oh yeah, yeah, he's allergic to Spaghettios, <laughs> and he's oh man, that's pretty good. And I like the the bully. I think oh, they yeah, introduced yeah. him pretty early on. <laughs> yeah, and they were like at it's 6 a.m. Awesome. every day before school for some unknown reason. We would, get, <laughs> we would all go play King of the Mountain to get our butts kicked. <laughs> and that guy just ah! <laughs> throwing kids off the hill. I like how like that whole scene is shot basically in close-ups and mediums. And at the very end, you get a wide shot. It's just a little tiny peak in front of the school <laughs> in the playground. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. And this kid's like high school kid and they're all like elementary school <laughs> it's like why the hell is he there and so yeah yeah and then he's like uh no one even knew what school he went to if he went to school <laughs> <laughs> this long black hair and a leather jacket <laughs> fucking hilarious oh so, um, yeah it's pretty it's pretty cool and then neil patrick harris is like narrating it a lot of the time and it, they do some funny stuff where so yeah i was i was going to my friend's house on my bike and were you wearing a helmet, Dad? It was the 80s. We all wore helmets. <laughs> and then he has no helmet. Then, <laughs> then he has a helmet on. Was it green? Of course it was green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some pretty cool stuff there. Yeah, they do and another like one the... with his dad. I think he's, I don't remember what his dad's doing, but he's helping his dad do some workshop stuff. And yeah, he's like, like wear your glasses. He's like, yeah, I wore glasses. And he has the glasses. Yeah. He's like, did you really, though? And he's like, well, kind of. And then it shows and he has like a, has a paper bag, bag over his head. Yeah, I like the dad guy from uh i always remember him from saving silverman yeah yeah steve zahn this, yeah steve zahn's pretty good in this he's always got these little roles never quite gets a big one but he's always really great in his yeah. roles he's really awesome. funny he was in a show i don't know if you watched it uh, i don't know if it'd be up your alley but uh it's called white lotus on hbo max he was really good in that too never seen it <clears throat> yeah I thought he was really great on like another kind of smaller role of daddy daycare. I thought he was like mm -hmm. one of the funniest parts on that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's speaking Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah. What were your initial thoughts starting on this? I don't know. Obviously you probably had, uh, not big hopes for this. I mean, yeah, original. I'll be honest. It was kind of like, uh, I had pretty low. I, I did watch the trailer, and it did give me a lot of um, Jingle All the Way vibes. And we, you and I have reviewed it. You know, you guys should check it out. It's a fun review. Um, but I wasn't not a big fan of that movie. And so I was like, fuck, it's just another Jingle All the Way. I'm like, uh. Yeah. Um, man, I was pleasantly surprised. I am I agree that I had a smile for most. I, mean, I didn't laugh too much. There are some chuckle moments, but for the most part, I just yeah. smiled the whole thing. It's just a lot of fun characters funny dialogue um heartwarming stuff and uh and i was surprised it's it's more christmas story than jingle all the way even like the yeah. heavy narration and just a, a kid who wants an item really bad and tries to go out of his way to to get it obviously this is a little more um extreme than christmas story is um so yeah i was i was i was pretty happy to be honest i was very surprised i thought it was just gonna be a shitty just throwaway you know family yeah. kids movie but i was pleasantly surprised yeah i think they in the marketing and trailers they should have leaned more into the heart mm -hmm. rather than making it seem like it's a jingle all the way movie. yeah which it kind of it kind of is for a good portion of it it's like it's like i don't know it's like when they're actually implementing like their plan it's mm -hmm. like jingle all the way ish yeah, but it's yeah. just those are very small parts within the movie and then the rest of it's kind of like a Christmas story uh, homage around it. Mm -hmm. And it's it's mostly that. And then once you get near the end, it kind of gets rid of the Nintendo stuff altogether. It kind of flips into this other movie. Yeah, yeah. That was just like totally just made me tear up at the end. Mm -hmm. I was like, what the hell? That just happened. This isn't it about the Nintendo at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The the ending is what's well interesting because uh, I looked at Sarah at some point. And I kind of I kind of called it, but I didn't because I, I was like, oh, there's that scene earlier when he says, "Don't go behind the garage." There's obviously his parents bought him a Nintendo, 
Yeah, like, I thought why so. Why would he too. hide it behind the garage? I was like, have you seen his character? His character is a little goofy, <laughs> like, you know? So I was kind of thinking that they did something. Uh, so I was kind of half right, half wrong. But um, yeah, the ending was great. Um, yeah, I just, there's so many funny moments where I just, like, the they go to find the Cabbage Patch kids and they go down the aisle. Yeah. <laughs> it's just lonely Janet. It was like tumbleweeds, everything sold out. And he's like, <laughs> it was awful. You should have seen it. It's like little stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Funny. Somebody punched a grandma on the throat. <laughs> and they were the same family. Yeah. <laughs> and then when he like I even I love one of my favorite parts is when he, he sees the Nintendo at the store. Hey Jake. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> yeah. And it's kinda like how. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. good. Hey, what's your kid what's your name, kid? Go ahead, Jake. <laughs> Tell him. Tell him your name, Jake. <laughs> oh man, it's so funny. He's like, I was in the zone. The whole mall was chanting my name. <laughs> All the people Jay, around. Jay, Jay. <laughs> yeah. It was a and lot it's of pretty funny. funny. Yeah, it's like I have every game, Jake, choose one. <laughs> Super Super Mario Brothers, choose a different one. <laughs> what about Joust? Joust? Yeah. <laughs> well, how about dif- <laughs> how about Rampage? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And he goes back to the store. He has to buy it. Well, that's good to see you. Oh, yeah. Shut up, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it was good. And good. we haven't even talked about the fucking rich kid. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. This is some of the best stuff. There's a rich kid, the only kid that has a Nintendo. And like he's like, he's like the only kid with a Nintendo in the state of Michigan or whatever, they, <laughs> wherever they were. And they would all line up at his house. And so there's that like home alone looking rich person house. And it's like. You know, 50 kids out front. He would pick 10 people to get to come in. The first 10 get to come in and play. And I, I thought this kid was just hilarious. Oh, yeah. Make- Even like the, the fucking, you know how you meet some kids and you didn't know they had money? Well, this kid you definitely knew. And he just shows them on the window and he's all <laughs> fucking in a karate suit doing weird shit. Yeah. And he's like, they get in and he had the coolest basement, whatever, the Tri-Town area. He had a pool table, pinball, snack bar, better stocked than half of our grocery stores. <laughs> and then he's got the intercom talking to his mom. You guys hungry? Yeah. You want a Pop-Tart? Just, <laughs> mom, can I get a Pop-Tart? Mom, wake <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many? Uh, he's like, well, counting everybody's. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man. I need to go back and watch the... Um... The dog scene, because I actually missed it. I was, uh, had to do go and run and do laundry real quick, so I missed about five minutes of the movie, and I, I missed the... Apparently, there's a scene where his dog gets fucked up. It was sad, I dude. Watch that. It was... Uh, so you didn't see, like, the power glove stuff? I saw when they got to his house, and all the all the people were trying to bribe him. Uh, that's when I walked out. It was when people were shouting all the stuff they were trying to bribe him with. <clears throat> Yeah, he got the power gloves, and everyone knows from that era that that was like the coolest shit. But then it was actually a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. And it was just fucking terrible and really hard to play any kind of game with it. But he got it, and they all come over to see it, and they're he's playing some fighting game, and he's like, "Behold!" It's like you have to be trained in Taekwondo to know how to use this. And he's like, "It's like karate, but more expensive." <laughs> <laughs> and anyways, he's fighting uh, the young girl twin. She's on a controller, and he has the thing. He's like, <laughs> having to do a motion, you know, to do the hit. And she starts whooping his ass. And he's like, what's wrong with this thing? Come on. <laughs> How is this happening? And then everyone is like, he realized, and we all realized, the biggest lie of our generation. <laughs> the power <laughs> glove sucked. <laughs> uh. And, yeah, and she, she's winning, and, like, he gets really pissed. He's like, oh, and he like takes it off and he starts doing like Taekwondo in the room and everyone's like, yeah, 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 and he's doing <laughs> fight moves. And then, like, and then they're like, he went into the zone and then he just goes, ah, oh, he's just like a flying fucking Taekwondo <laughs> kick. And he's like, at the TV and he kicks the TV and the TV falls down. And I didn't realize what happened. Um, really, the TV just falls down. And you see everyone looking at the TV, and they're all just like, oh, I thought they were, like, freaked out because the TV broke. It's like, oh, yeah, they broke the TV. His mom's going to be pissed. But then they're like, uh, oh, then it cuts back to the uh, modern telling where Patrick's sitting next to his daughter. And she's like, he killed the dog? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. 
She's like, a dog dies in this story? <laughs> now, yeah, it was the 80s. Some crazy stuff happened. Yeah, but the, the, the TV fell on the dog. And then he starts, the, the, the weight of the 42-inch on this little rat terrier. <laughs> nice. And then we like, and then they all run out of the house. It's like, well, I didn't know if I was going to be arrested, charged with murder. <laughs> <laughs> all I knew was I had to get out of this house. <laughs> and I had pot... And I had possibly played Nintendo for the last time in my life. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I have to go back and watch that. Yeah. And anyways, yeah. later on, they, they, they retcon it. I'm glad they did because I was like, oh, man, that's fucking sad. They retcon it. It's like the dog survived. It survived? Yeah. It broke three legs and four ribs. <laughs> <laughs> they think it might make a full recovery. <laughs> yeah. But that's kind of what turns uh, the rich parents against video games. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, and then so the town like bans the sale of video games, so they can't get them, and that's kind of just pretty accurate for its time. I don't know if Nintendo yeah. was ever banned like that, but I'm sure there was a lot of people that didn't like a fucking video game system in their home. <clears throat> yeah, well, but back then there wasn't any violence in video games. No, so it's like that couldn't be. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I it really started kicking off around Mortal Kombat with the blood and stuff. But like a yeah, video yeah. game on Nintendo, it's like a little blip, 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 blip. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> but they're like rotting your brain, all that yeah. kind of stuff. They, they would, you know, say the same shit about, you know, the invention of TV. Yeah, they have like Nintendo documentaries where the parents are like, she doesn't even do her homework anymore. It's just, <laughs> just seven hours of Nintendo. Well, first of all, you know, you shouldn't let your kid be playing seven yeah. hours. Anyway. <laughs> Take some responsibility seven, of uh, your, your kid's actions a little bit. Se- seven hours of anything is not good unless you're like reading the dictionary. Yeah. It might help you <laughs> in life. Um, yeah, I never understood yeah. why video games were like this weird thing to pick on. Like, oh, he just sits and plays five hours of video games, but then they'll go into work the next day. Hey, did you guys watch Making a Murder? I watched the whole season over the weekend. It's like, well... You do the same <laughs> shit. It's just not a video game. It's no different. Yeah, I don't know, it's a I weird get this, thing. I just get those guys on social media. I don't understand why you would play video games. I was like, I grew out of that when I was a kid. I was like, grow up. I was like, it's just a fucking form of media, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you watch, do you watch movies? Okay, <laughs> shut, shut the hell up. It's the same damn thing. It's a form of media. I pref- sometimes I prefer the interactive form. Oh yeah. well, <laughs> act like it's fucking so weird. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I had this this other guy was like, I don't understand how people could ever replay a video game. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? And then everyone's just got it going off, and it's like, have you never watched a movie twice? Yeah, yeah. Have you have you never listened to a CD <laughs> more than once? It's like once you just fucking you get to the end of the CD, you throw it out your car window. Like, all yeah. right, that was great. Was <laughs> was, he's like, dude, it's not the same. It's like exactly the same. It's the same thing, yeah. It's, it's a form of media that you enjoy, so you want to mm-hmm. redo it. It's yeah. the same thing as watching a movie again. Yep, same so. as rereading a book. Same as all. Yeah. Of, yeah. It might take a little longer, but. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. Like, this movie is, this movie is a, is as you know, I don't can't throw out Christmas classic yeah, phrases yeah. like that, but I think this will be a movie you could easily have on a Christmas rotation. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of heart. Um, it's probably the best Christmas movie since Elf, man. And Elf, I think, has established itself as a classic because it has so much of that, uh, I forget their names, that old production company that did the animated movies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Rank, Rankin and Bass, I think. But uh, yeah, they meant to do it like that. They succeeded. That's like a classic. That's a really good movie. I think this is like the best one I've seen since. I it's think pretty... so. I, yeah, when you said that, I had to like, I had to look. I'm looking at them right now. Just kind of a list of all of them, and I'm trying to look at the ones that are more modern. And a lot of them, like the, there's like Kurt Russell one on Netflix. Uh, it was yeah. I what it was. <laughs> I love Kurt Russell. I think he's great at Santa Claus, but the movie itself was. Uh, yeah. um, he does look pretty good at Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would say so. I'm, I mean, looking at this list, I mean, it's pretty damn yeah. good. I, I mean, I'll definitely watch ones. it. Yeah, I'll definitely watch it again next year. Put it on. I think another, another one, modern one is. Uh, 
I don't know. I can't remember what the title is. It's Santa Claus or the Santa Claus. But the Tim Allen one. I think that one's really good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay. If we're going far that back, then yeah, there's a lot of good ones in the 90s. Home Alone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. But yeah, this was a uh, man. I was again, I was very surprised. I was I guess that's it's always a good thing when you come into low expectations and you're surprised. I mean, yeah, just there's so many colorful characters. The, the dad. I love the dad. It's just like yeah. the dad who just keeps working on shit and never gets things yeah. done. Always <laughs> working on the house. Stuff. I don't know. It's just little quirks like that. It's funny. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so at the end, we're getting near the end. And uh, <laughs> he never gets a Nintendo. And then he gets like a, there's like one more present under the tree from a rich, crazy uncle. And he's like, I'd seen that box shape before. <clears throat> And so he, he he knows it's a Nintendo. He thinks it's a Nintendo. And it's like from your crazy uncle that lives in Japan. He's like, Japan, the home of Nintendo. <laughs> and, he, and he opens it up and it's a light bright. It's a Japanese light bright. Light, <laughs> a that. Japanese light bright. <laughs> and then the dad's like, oh, man, I really thought that was a Nintendo for a second. <laughs> <laughs> they start laughing. Uh, and then, yeah, he has him go out there and pick up the poop. And he's like, before they're going on a Christmas trip, and he's like, make sure you start behind the shed. And he goes out there, and there's this big ass tree fort, tree house built. And he's like, it was the most magnificent tree house. Mm-hmm. And it had lights on and everything. He climbs up in it, and so my mind was racing with the future adventures I would have in this tree house yeah. sleepovers with, with Billy and whatever, with Tommy. Uh, yeah, it was just a really cool moment because um, his dad, you finally see, he finally finishes something, mm-hmm. right? That finishes, finishes the thing that matters the most. And, you know, he built it in a fucking night. <laughs> it's like <laughs> your, your dad stayed up all night finishing this. <clears throat> and so that was really powerful. And so he's just trying to say, you know, I didn't get what I wanted, but I got something that I think ended up being better. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, super powerful. And and he has he like carves his name in there with his dad. His dad I forget his dad's name. What was his name? Jake. Yeah, his name is Jake. Yeah. And uh, his dad his, was started with a D, right? I think it was John. So, oh yeah, John so it should be two. Should yeah. be two J's. JJ. Mm-hmm. And then they're you know they're sitting down. Oh, yeah. The daughter's like, how did you ever get one then? I was like, oh, I had to work my butt off one summer. <laughs> the fucking golf my, course. <clears throat> and my dad let me buy it. But, uh, yeah, they're sitting down at Christmas dinner. You see the old version of the mom, and I'm like, man, when are they going to show the, the old version of the dad? Mm-hmm. And then uh, they're talking about how he learned a valuable lesson, and he actually – oh, yeah, and the daughter was like, that was your gift. He's like, what do you mean? To find your thing with your dad. To find your thing. And he looks around and there's like a JJ on the clock. There's like yeah. a JJ on the table. There's like all these JJs marked on things. And then he, they look across the table and it's uh, it's set for dad. And it's got his old disgusting uh, uh, Chicago whatever hockey cup that yeah. he always used. <clears throat> and it's all set up and obviously he's passed away by then. And yeah, that was just a super, super sad moment but super cool yeah, it was just a really heartfelt ending that I didn't imagine coming. I thought, you no, know, for sure the story ends with some kind of Nintendo being. Yeah, purchased. yeah, that was kind of a nice surprise of like, because I kind of thought for a moment I thought that the present from Uncle was gonna. I'm like, that's please don't be a Nintendo. It'd be a really stupid way to fucking end this thing up, and I'm glad it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Um, and then yeah, when he shows him the treehouse, I was like, oh yeah, the Nintendo's up there. And, you know, he gets the Nintendo yeah, in the treehouse. Um, <laughs> But no, he just got the treehouse, and yeah, it's just a really cool moment. And I was, yeah, I was kind of um, confused because they kept saying Grandpa and Grandma's house or at Grandpa and Grandma's house, so I just thought that they were both yeah. uh, alive. So it's kind of a, a sad reveal than when he's not. And I thought it was kind of weird that they showed the wife and the kid. I thought it was going to – I actually looked at Sarah. I'm like, is that the wife, his wife and kid, or is that the sister? And she's like, this is his wife. I'm like, oh, you'd think that they have the sister over there because the, her sister is in the movie quite a bit. Um, no, I, I think it's his sister. Oh, it was a sister. Because, okay. Yeah, because there's a mention on the table about the boots. 
Oh yeah. And, and then, then then the woman was something like yeah, with my boots <laughs> or something like that. So yeah, yeah, I'm pretty damn sure that's the sister. I okay. I don't think the mom's in the picture anymore or something. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, it's a cool way to wrap it all up. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, uh, there was a, another really uh, heartfelt moment when he's like in the treehouse in modern day and he's looking at the wall, it has all the pictures. And mm-hmm. you're looking at memories of the treehouse that we had, we didn't even see. Right. They're just pic- pictures at this point, and it just looks like such a good time. And you could tell he's uh he's going through his old Christmases. Uh, and getting older, it's just like it hit me around Christmas time. It does. Mm-hmm. Some of these, you know, these memories are so good for me. Are typically around Christmas, and it's like you never get them back. Yeah. And you you can't relive them. You get you get to try to have a an amazing Christmas every year, but it's it was just it was just kind of sad. He's just looking mm-hmm. at you know, man, that's all over with. But what a ride! Just nostalgia. It was a, it was a really, it was a really great moment. I loved it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so yeah, this movie really cool. I totally suggest putting this on during some of your Christmas activities. But I would suggest watching it too. It's not yeah. just a background movie. You just pay attention the first time and. It's entertaining. Yeah, get- like it's it, there's no like slow moments in the movie that I can remember. Like I was pretty engaged through the whole thing. Like it's really quick. Yeah. I think it's an hour and forty minutes and it flies by. Um, yeah, so many like if we haven't even talked about David Cross, he shows up for a little bit. Oh he's yeah, funny. I forgot David Cross. He this guy crazy. a cop in the twenty one jump street. He's like, no, he's not a cop. He's eleven years old. He's like, hey, I don't know, man. Cops these days. You seen RoboCop? <laughs> that guy's half robot. Oh yeah, that was that was the that was the scene where he's like, no, I haven't. My friend has. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, this yeah, just uh, David Cross was good in this. Yeah, Jakorski, the the bully we talked about, was fucking great. Jakorski, <laughs> um, yeah, that guy was good. Yeah, even his mom has some funny. Like she's a teacher, and she's like, I, you know, mom, I was thinking, like, oh, a little boy thinks. So that's funny. I wish you could tell my students that. There's like little, <laughs> or like what I tell my students. Sometimes you got to suck it up. And do the work. Uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta act like a vacuum and just suck it <laughs> up. <laughs> do the job. <laughs> <clears throat> and I, I love the little fat kid, the little pathological yeah. liar. Was really Farmer, yeah. s- selling the wreaths, trying to win the <laughs> Nintendo, and he's like selling them to his mom. <laughs> he's like, you can't sell on this block. There's no rules to wreaths, my friend. <laughs> the lady answers the door. Well, hello, young lady. Is your mom home? <laughs> I need to speak to a parent. <laughs> oh, man. And I love how, like, uh, you know how in these movies someone, a kid has a skill or a guy has a skill who, who kind of, like, you, you, you introduce it early on in the movie and then you kind of bring it back later on in, like, a climax in a way. I love how his skill is lying and they need a liar. He's just like, oh, yeah. Come and say <laughs> fucking lie. And he, he has to yeah. help him out. Someone say make something up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's on the phone, yeah. and uh, they like, oh, that's great. And he's like, they believed me. <laughs> they're like, we can hear you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was great. Awesome. Yeah, man, fun movie, really fun. Totally, I'm glad we uh, for our, we are gonna do Hawkeye, and I was like, man, maybe I'll just watch this, and then I'll, I'll text him and decide <laughs> if we actually do Hawkeye because maybe this isn't that good. Mm-hmm. But uh, obviously, I wouldn't have worked with you doing your homework so late. And <laughs> well, I guess it could have worked. Well, we hadn't seen episode two yet. But I'm glad that I didn't have to. I was like, nope, this is good. This is good. This yeah, is to- this was totally a good choice uh, for what we had. So glad we did it. Scores. Oh man. <clears throat> so this is a really good modern Christmas movie. Ah. Uh... I feel safe giving this a. This is a, ooh, it's a seven something. Yeah, I'm kind of in that seven, seven tier as seven well. Seven something. I'm gonna do seven. You know what? Seven this oh. Seven, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a seven four. It's almost seven five. Uh, you know, if the modern Christmas classics or Christmas classics are like nines and tens. This is seven, low seven, seven, four, seven. It's up there. 
it's it's good. Surprisingly good, man. I'm surprised they didn't try and put this in a theater or something around Christmas yeah. time. I would have loved to have seen this with a, you know, a Sunday afternoon crowd, Sunday matinee crowd. It would have been fun. I mean, shoot, you re- you release this thing on Christmas. One of those movies. Yeah. Get the snow outside. That would have been something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, either way, glad glad we got it. The uh, that's a good get for HBO Max. I mean, shoot, boom, good Christmas movie for you. If you're already a subscriber, there ain't no reason not to check it out unless you're a Grinch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you have HBO and I think Disney Plus, you're pretty you're pretty set because Disney has Home Alone, Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, I think it has Santa, both Santa, all, all three Santa Clauses, and HBO has a bunch of other stuff too. No, I don't know of anybody that has the Rankin and Bass stuff. I want to see those, man. Mm. I watch it. the other day yeah, when yeah. we were when I was uh, what was I doing? I was wrapping presents or something, and I've just put on YouTube list of all Rankin and Bass songs from the specials. Mm-hmm. Like, and oh, that, that I love the songs, man. <clears throat> like from Santa Claus is coming to town, and it's like yeah, uh, the Bumble's bounce and all this stuff, and it's like uh, Island of Misfit Toy songs. All this nobody wants a gun that shoots jelly. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Uh, I wanted to be a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, classic! I love those movies. I don't think I don't know if kids would like those movies. Nowadays, they're so weird looking in their animation and stuff. Yeah. I imagine kids are like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> but yeah, I loved those as a kid. <clears throat> yeah, those you typically have to buy the fucking what is it like the four movie Blu-ray, the four movie DVD that has like all four. Yeah, of them. I always see it like Walmart and shit. And there's way more than four too. They yeah. I forget them. I like just looking it up. They got like Easter ones. I say, oh Peter really? Cotton Tail. They had all sorts of ones, dude. Oh wow. Got the little j- drummer boy. Like they had. Way more than I remembered, like for all sorts of holidays, dude. They had like a baby New Year one, the story for like every holiday, freaking Arbor Day. <laughs> you, know, freaking, you know what I mean? Uh, that's crazy. That's I didn't know that. <clears throat> so, yeah, seven and a 7.4, pretty dang good. Go check it out. Christmas time in Hollis, Queens. You know, mama's cooking chicken and collard greens. All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. Please check out the podcast on uh, on Apple, on Spotify, here on YouTube to get the full visual stimuli. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, a lot of times, I'll be just be doing things with my hands, and you won't you won't get it on the podcast. You won't get the, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'll be do, be doing ASL up on here. And Very stuff. animated. You're missing out. <laughs> my eye pop out or something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson thing over here. <laughs> yeah, Brian's actually right. black, if you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brian's a very strong black name. <laughs> you don't want you don't want to mess with a black guy named Brian. You never know. I've only met one in my life and he was crazy. <laughs> so good he's a good crazy though. I liked him. Those BBs, <laughs> man. <laughs> so uh Yeah. All right. Check it out. Like and subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Uh, let's go get this Hawks game and hopefully <laughs> get a win. <laughs> this is getting really bad. Yeah. All right. And then they kicked us off us Sunday night football. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that sucks. Yikes. Yeah. Jokes on you. I'd rather watch the game sooner. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who wants to wait till night on a fucking Sunday? <laughs> Got to work tomorrow, man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be. Up all night about the loss. I want to get yeah. it, <laughs> let it settle. <laughs> need to take the press. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we appreciate you. We love having you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, as always, from Brian versus Brian. Peace out, y'all. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>